this piece of kit is called a fire piston. It was commonly used in Southeast Asian cultures as a frictionless method of lighting a fire. And it relies on adiabatic heating through compression. I've got a small cylinder here with a bore of about a centimetre and a metal rod with an O-ring. That's been well lubricated to let it slide in and out easily. And all we're going to do is pop a small piece of tinder in the end here. You just want to get yourself a small piece of tinder and uh, I've teased it out here to help it burn more effectively and pop that in the end. I'm using my trusty RSC pen to help me get it to about the height so that when I put it on the end of my piston it's sitting just above the point at which the tube will be compressed down to. All we need to do now is pop the rod into the end and drive it home with a nice smooth firm action. Now you can either use tinder that you can purchase from educational suppliers or you can try making your own. The cotton that I was using is better for giving a little bit more of a, a flare or a flash but if you want something that's going to glow with an ember from which you could light a fire uh, then you can actually use uh, cotton from a t-shirt. And I've got a baked bean tin here and I've wrapped it over with some aluminium foil and that's to keep any oxygen out. Put a small hole in there to allow smoke to escape and heated this over a heating flame on a Bunsen for about half an hour. And inside I've left some small pieces of cotton t-shirt. They were yellow so let's have a look at what they look like now. As you can see here we've got these strips now of black char cloth and this we can sort of tear bits off and put bits into the bottom of the fire piston. This is going to give us more of a sort of a, uh, an ember from which you could light a slightly bigger fire. Now you might use this demonstration when teaching about the internal combustion engine but you will have also noticed a little cloud being produced as I released the fire piston. We're going to show this same demonstration on a slightly larger scale. I've got a water bottle here and I'm just shaking it up to release some water vapour and I have some smouldering splints. I'm going to wave around inside for a few seconds to collect some condensation nuclei. Now we're going to compress and relax this bottle, allowing the gas as it expands to adiabatically cool and hopefully we should end up getting a cloud. So this bottle is now for the cloud and if I squeeze it out we can let that go. And this process will work a couple of times. So we've got a cloud back again. And out it goes. <laughs>